Shiori Ito fights back tears as she holds a banner reading, Lawsuit Victory. This, as one of the most high-profile cases of the Me Too movement in Japan, enters a new phase. I feel this is the closing of one chapter. But winning this case does not erase what happened. My struggle to face my wounds will continue. So this is not the end. Ito won her civil lawsuit on Wednesday when a Tokyo court ordered Noriyuki Yamaguchi to pay her roughly 27,000 euros in damages. She alleges that Yamaguchi, a well-known reporter, raped her in 2015 while she was unconscious. Her claims are all the more explosive as Yamaguchi is a prominent media figure said to be close to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. But the legal battle may drag on still as Yamaguchi plans to appeal the verdict. I haven't done anything illegal. Our side raised various contradictions in Ms. Ito's arguments. But instead of verifying our claims, the ruling ignored them. So we will continue to make our strong case in the appeals court. Ito made waves in 2017 when she took the rare step of going public with her allegations. The case has propelled Ito to the head of the Me Too movement in Japan, where those who have experienced sexual assault often shy away from reporting incidents for fear of being humiliated, blamed, or not being believed. According to a 2017 government survey, only 4 percent of female rape victims file police reports.